look at the disease process and what happens to us when we don't satisfy our needs. And when we don't satisfy our needs, there are two main things that happen to us. Number one, we end up with things inside of us that do not belong inside of us. And number two, we end up not having things inside of us that do belong inside of us. And most of our problems are, that are 100% within our control have to do with toxicities and deficiencies. And the reason why disease is a mystery for our so-called medical experts is they don't study the lymph system. You see, our body is nothing but a bunch of cells and two main fluids. We have somewhere between 60 to 100 trillion cells and blood brings in the food and everything that consumes eliminates and that waste goes into the uh, lymph system, which is like the sewage system of the body. So most of our problems come from the sewage system of our body. The reason why disease is a mystery to our so-called medical experts is they don't study the sewage system of the body. Think of the sewage system of our body being like a vacuum cleaner and we go into a room and we vacuum up all the garbage. There's waste matter from the actual cells in our body that gets into our lymph system. There's dead cellular debris. Everything, remember, gets dumped into the sewage system of the body like everything's getting sucked up in a room or in a house into a vacuum cleaner. Now imagine the bag on the vacuum cleaner is more like a balloon that can expand. It, can, it becomes less efficient, obviously, the more number of particulates get into the bag. Remember, everything's pressure. That's how the system's supposed to work. There's not supposed to be a whole bunch of garbage inside our sewage system so the cells have an a, a, a easy way for waste matter in their cell to go back out into this lymph system. But as our vacuum cleaner bag gets, gets fuller or that balloon gets fuller, the pressure inside gets greater and eventually that balloon's going to pop and all that dirt we collected goes back into the room and into the house. And you see that's what's happening with our sewage system. Our sewage system is grabbing garbage from everywhere, all the cells, and when it goes above a toleration point, which is, it's, going to, it's going to if our system doesn't work efficiently, and that's the key here, then when the limb system backs up, it backs up backwards, like the vacuum cleaner throws the dirt back into the room. The same, same concept. So why is disease a mystery? It's simple. Doctors focus on the blood, right? They focus on the symptoms, right? They don't look at the cause because they don't know what the cause is, and the cause is the sewage system of our body, the lymph system. And remember, it's, 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 it's all as simple as osmotic flow. But there's not supposed to be a bunch of garbage in our sewage system. So what's happening to us is, is we're polluting our body. We're putting in things inside of us that don't belong there, and when our intestines have things inside of it that don't belong there, it gets into the blood. Now we have things inside of our blood that don't belong there that get filtered by the kidneys, and now we have things inside of our kidneys that don't belong there, and they damage the kidneys, you see? And the kidneys also filter the lymph fluid, so now the lymph fluid is not getting filtered because the kidneys are damaged because we have things inside of us that don't belong there. And then we produce our own waste that has to be eliminated, and when there's too many particulates inside our lymph system when the vacuum cleaner bag is too full it doesn't suck much in and eventually it's going to go above a toleration point that balloon can only expand so far before the excess has to go somewhere well where is the excess waste in the lymph system going to go the only place it can go where it came from that's the only avenue it has for anything and what does it do it looks for organs that exit the body like the sinus areas and the lungs colds and flus pneumonia comes out the skin, psoriasis, eczema. It's, it's, so dead, it's, it's, it's dead genetic debris, it's cellular waste, it's all the garbage in our body that backs up and back into the system. So there's a very simple explanation to the disease process.